Hi friends, today we'll see some divisibility rules. So the first rule is to check the divisibility by 2. So the rule says a number is divisible by 2 if its unit digit is any of 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Let's take an example. The number, this number. 9 like 22, 27, is divisible by 2 since here we can see the units digit is 2 so we can say that the whole number is divisible by 2 the second rule is divisibility by 3 <coughs> a number is, the rule says a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So let's take an example 9,35,721. This number is divisible by 3. Let's check out. The rule says the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. So we'll take the sum of its digit that is 9 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 1 which gives us 27 and we know that 27 is divisible by 3 so we can say that the whole number is divisible by 3 we don't have to divide the whole number by 3 to check out if it's divisible by 3 or not now the third rule says divisibility by 9 so the rule says a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 9 it's similar to the upper one where we checked if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3 now in here we will check if the sum of its digit is divisible by 9 so let's take an example of this 9, 9,35,730 is divisible by 9 since if we take out the sum of its digits 9 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 0 which gives us answer 27 and 27 is divisible by 9 so we can say that the whole number is divisible by 9 and let's take another example 2475 here we get 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 5 which gives us answer 18 and we know that 18 is divisible by 9 so this number is also divisible by 9 let's move on to the fourth rule to check if the number is divisible by 4 so the rule says a number is divisible by 4 if the combination the combination made by the last two digits the combination made by the last two digits is divisible by 4. Let's take an example. This number is divisible by 4 since the combination made by last two digits 76. 76 is divisible by 4. So we can say the whole number is divisible by 4. So we don't have to divide the whole number by 4 to check out if it's divisible by 4. Let's take the similar rule to check if the divisible if the number is divisible by 8. So this rule is similar to the upper one. A number is divisible by 8 if the combination made by last three digits. See, the combination by la, made by last three digits is divisible by 8. In the upper one, we 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 were checking if the combination made by last two digits is divisible by for in this rule we will check if the combination made by last three digits is divisible by eight so here for example a number is given and this number is a divisible by eight since the combination made by last three digits is 352 and if you divide 352 by eight it's totally uh, the number 352 is totally divi uh, divisible by 8 so we can say that the whole number is divisible by 8 
Now the next rule is to check if the number is divisible by 5. So this is pretty simple. A number is divisible by 5 if its unit digit is either 0 or 5. For example, these two numbers are divisible by 5 since you can say the unit digit in the first number is 0 and in the second number is 5. So both numbers, both numbers are divisible by 5. The seventh rule says divisibility by 10. So a number is divisible by 10 if its unit digit is 0. So for example in this two number the unit's place is 0. So we can say that this both numbers are divisible by 10. Now the most important rule is to check if the number is divisible by 11. So the rule says sum of the digits at odd places minus sum of the digits at even places should be either 0 or divisible by 11. Let's take an example. A number is given and uh, we will see first which are the digits at odd places. So if we uh, start from the right end, first, third, fifth and seventh, these digits are odd digits. I mean these digits are in the odd places and 3 1 7 these digits are at even places so if we go by the rule sum of its digit at odd places means 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 9 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 9 minus sum of the digits at even places that is 3 plus 1 plus 7 3 plus 1 plus 7 which gives us 22 minus 11 11 and we can say that 11 is divisible by 11 so the whole number is divisible by 11 so now we will see some of the examples based on the based so on the example, basic uh, rules we will see so let's the question says find the least value of star for which this number is divisible by 3 so we have to find out the value of star here and we know the rule to check if the number is divisible by 3 which is the sum of the digits of the number should be divisible by 3 so we will first guess if, uh, if the value of star is x now we will take the sum of its sum of the digits of this number that is 5 plus 9 plus 6 plus 7 plus x plus 1 plus 3 and which gives us 5 plus 9 14 plus 6 20 plus 7 27 plus 1 28 plus 3 31 so we get x plus 31 so in 31 what least number should be added to make a number divisible by 3 it's pretty clear that if we add 2 in 31 we get 33 and which is divisible by 3 so the value of x is 2. We'll move on to the our uh, next exa next example. Here the question says find the value of star for which 7 star 5462 this number is divisible by 9. So we have to find the value of star here. In such a way that a number should be divisible by 9. We know the rule to check if the number is divisible by 9. That is the sum of digits of this number should be divisible by 9. So we'll take the sum of its digit that is 7 plus 
put x in place of star plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 which gives us 7 plus 5 12 plus 4 16 plus 6 22 plus 2 24 so it gives us x plus 24 so here the question is what number should be added to 24 which will be divisible by 9 so if you remember the uh, table of 9 which is the least number which comes in the table of 9 after 24 which is 9 3 is a 27 so in order to find out in order to get 27 we have to add 3 in 24 so 3 plus 24 which gives us 27 and 27 is divisible by 9 so in place of x we get 3 so value of the x is 3 in this way the value of star will be 3 so if you put 3 in place of star the number we get will be 7 3 5 4 6 2 which will be divisible by 9 we'll see another example the question says check if the number this number is divisible by 45 so uh, we uh, don't have any specific rules to check if the number is divisible by 45 but by using our basic rules we can find out if the number is divisible by 45 all we need to do is find two co-prime factors of 45 that is 9 and 5 see how, how can we find it so uh, factors of 45 are 3 into 3 into 5 yeah. So two co-prime factors are 9 and 5. Here we can find another factors like 15 and 3. But we can see that 15 and 3 are not co-prime factors. Co-prime factors are the factors whose HCF, highest common factor, should be 1. Okay. Here we can see that there is no HCF. Uh, we can see that the HCF of 9 and 5 is 1 but we can see here that the HCF of 15 and 3 is 3 it should be 1 only so we'll take these uh, factors and we will check if this number is divisible by 9 and 5 both so to check if the number is divisible by 9 we have to check the sum of its digit should be divisible by 9 so if we take the sum 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 0 it gives us 2 plus 2 4 plus 8 12 plus 6 18 and we know that the 18 is divisible by 9 and we will also check if the number is divisible by 5 we can see that the units place is 0 here so we can say that the number is also divisible by 5 so in this way this number is divisible by these both numbers we can say that the number is divisible by 45 see how easy it makes when we know the basic rules of divisibility let's move on to the next example the question says if the number this 5 star 2 is divisible by 6 then find the value of star so we have to find out if the number is uh, if the number is divisible by 6 then the value of star is what we don't have any specific rule to check if the number is divisible by 6 but we can divide 6 into two co-prime numbers just like as we did in the previous example so the two co-prime factors are 2 and 3 and we will check this number is divisible by 3 and 2 and we can find out the value of star so for 2 we can see that uh, the units place is 2 so the number is divisible by 2 and for 3 we can say that uh, we, we can say that the unit uh, the uh, sum of the digits should be divisible by 3 so if we take the sum of its digit 5 plus put x in place of star 2 so we get x plus 7 so what number 
should be added in 7 in order to make this sum divisible by 3 what least number should be added any guess see if we put uh, if we add 2 into 7 we get 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 so the least number of x will be 2 get, get it so the value of star will be 2 so in this way we have found a number that is 522 which will be divisible by 6 and the value of star will be 2 let's see another example check if the number 114345 is divisible by 99 so this is also pretty simple just imagine how difficult it would be when if we divide the whole number by 99 instead we will divide we will find out two factors of 99 co prime factors that is 11 and 9 11 9 is a 99 and we will check if this number is divisible by both of these co prime factors so first we will check if the number is divisible by 9 so the rule for the 9 is the sum of its digits should be divisible by 9 so if we check if you see the sum of its digits 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which gives us 1 plus 1 2 plus 4 plus 6 6 plus 3 9 plus 4 13 plus 5 18 and we know that 18 is divisible by 9 now we have to check if the number is divisible by 11 so for 11 we have the rule which says sum of the digits at odd places odd places digits are 5 3 and 1 5 plus 4 plus 1 and even places are 4 4 and 1 so 4 plus 4 plus 1 which gives us 9 minus 9 sorry here 5 plus 3 plus 1 and 4 plus 4 plus 1 so which gives us 9 minus 1 and answer is 0 so according to the rule the sum of the digits at odd places minus sum of the digits at even places should be either 0 or it should be divisible by 11 so we get the answer 0 so we can say that the number is divisible by 11 in this way we found out that the number is divisible by both 11 and 9 so we can say that the whole number is divisible by 99